Chumadavatam Canto 1, 15th chapter, text 43, the Pandava is retired timely. <coughs> Om Namo Bhagate Vasudevaya Chiravasa Niraharo Bhaddavan Mukta Murtajaha Darshayanatmana Rupam Jadon Matta Pishas Chavat Anaveksha Mano Niragar Ashtnavan Baddiro Yataha Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. After that, Maharaj Yudhishthir dressed himself in torn clothing, gave up eating all solid foods, voluntarily became dumb, and let his hair hang loose. All this combined to make him look like an urchin or madman with no occupation. He did not depend on his brothers for anything. And just like a deaf man, he heard nothing. Report. Thus being freed from all external affairs, he had nothing to do with imperial life or family prestige. And for all practical purposes, he posed himself exactly like an inert mad urchin and did not speak of material affairs. He had no dependence on his brothers who had all along been helping him. This stage of complete independence from everything is also called the purified stage of fearlessness. So these uh, verses and chapters are about uh, historical events that took place here only, uh, what is in this place known as India now, but 5,000 years ago uh, it was not known as India. That's how history works. Things keep happening, names change, people change, emperors come and go, people come and go, customs change. Uh, Even languages get modified, tastes get changed, dresses, people, you know, 30 years ago, 50 years ago, 100 years ago, we dressed differently. Music habits, food habits, family traditions, family cultures, uh, even now, uh, many of us, we say, oh, during my parents' time it was like this. And then our parents, they say, oh, in our, our parents' time it was like this. Hmm? Uh, and even your life you have seen, things are changing all the time. Even yesterday somebody was saying that, oh, Bangalore was so nice 20 years ago. Now there is so much traffic. And heat. Huh? And heat. heat, yes. Heat is there, traffic is there, pollution is there. So things keep changing and, and this will go on. That's the nature of this material world, always changing as far as these kinds of external circumstances go. Hmm? On a larger scale, we know that there's a different, uh, you know, uh, even in the last few hundred years, there was different rulers. We had Muslim rulers in this country, then we had uh, the British, they were here, things were changing during different appears and during the Muslim uh, rulers, different emperors were there and they all had their particular nature and ways of doing things, Akbar and Aurangzeb and all these different personalities. Uh, so a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, five thousand years ago, before that it was Satya Yuga. So if you take the full cycle, 4.3 million years, then we're going through these four cycles, Satya Yuga, Dwapar Yuga, 
Satya Yuga, Trita Yuga, Dvapara Yuga and then Kali Yuga. Hmm? So now we are in Kali Yuga and again then Satya Yuga will come. Things will change in a big way. And then again after that Trita Yuga will come. So again things will change. People living uh, for 100 years in Kali Yuga, that lifespan will become 1000 years. And then 1,000 years lifespan will changes to 10,000 years. And then in Satya Yuga lifespan is? Huh? 100. 100,000. 100, 100,000, 10,000, 1,000 and 100. And at end of Kali Yuga, even 100 years will go away. Because during the start of Kali Yuga is 100 years. And then end of Kali Yuga is 30 years. How many of you are 30 years old now? 30 years old or less. So you will be considered old men and old women. Right now you are thinking you are very young, right? How many of you are thinking you are very young? Oh, I am only 30 years old. So very soon times will change and 30 years old will be old men and old women. So always this change is going on. This is the nature of this entire material universe. Nothing is permanent, nothing is eternal, everything is changing. And during all those changes, one thing is constant. What is that? That we are always in this prison house. Just like in the prison house, somebody is moving from one part of the prison to another part. Or they sometimes get change of dress or they may move from the kitchen duties to the library duty. Hmm? This all happens in the prison. Or you may get new roommate in the prison, new cellmates, new friends in the prison. Hmm? Or you maybe move to another prison nearby. Hmm? So this whole material world is like a big prison house. But we have been here so long that we think, oh, such a nice prison house. Hmm? I want to stay here even longer. I want to make new friends in this prison house. Hmm? I want to have new experiences in this prison house. I want to change my types of suffering to a new type of suffering. Hmm? I want to experience different types of misery. I want to experience different types of unhappiness. Hmm? I want to experience different types of pain. Hmm? Mental pain, bodily pain. Pain that comes from aging, from disease, from death. Janma, Mrityu, Jara, Vyadi. These are guaranteed things. Hmm? So, but I am thinking I want to experience new variety of death, new variety of disease, new variety of aging and new variety of birth. We may not say it, but that is the reality. This is how we are living our lives. This birth in this state, in Bangalore, next birth it may be some other species of life. But Krishna is so kind, Krishna is God, controlling everything. This is the Acharya is trying to wake us up, open our eyes, so we are not just living in in illusion all the time. So, uh, we are thinking that's fine. Many times Prabhupada was asked, uh, oh, so if according to our karma we will get some future birth, may not be human form, may not be in nice family, it may not be in India, it may be in China. Hmm. And then in China you may have your duty may be that you are on the border in the Himalayas fighting against Indians or you may be working in some slaughterhouse or we may have the, the body of some animal and we are getting slaughtered ourselves or we may get the body of some insect or mosquito or some tree or some fish 8,400,000 species. This is the truth. This is the reality. But these things we want to forget 
and we want to think very nice. So Prabhupada sometimes he would speak like this and some uh, student would say, Oh, I don't mind. If I become a dog in my next life, that's fine. I'm okay. This is the nature of the huge amount of ignorance and illusion in this age of Kali. So, Srila Prabhupada is coming, Krishna is always sending because Krishna has, he is our real uh, relative. All these relatives we have, just like here we are reading that Maharaj Yudhishthira, he forgot all the, about all the Pandavas. They were very close, thick brothers. Arjuna, Nakul, Sadev, Bhima, Yudhishthira, and then Kunti and Draupadi and big kingdom. He was so popular, everybody loved him, Maharaj Yudhishthira. Maharaj Yudhishthira, very loving person. So all that, what does he do? Just leaves it behind. All of it became, the value of all of that became how much? Zero. Big zero. So, uh, and it's explained in these other verses before and after that Pandavas, they are eternal associates of Krishna. They always come to help him in his pastimes. So, uh, uh, they are in a very fortunate position. And, uh, but their life, if studied in some external way, the Pandavas had so many miserable situations in their life. Right? Exile and being cheated by Duryodhan and the crews and then giving poison and living in a house that was made of lac and burnt down and so much trickery and cheating. Draupadi was there in the middle of all her great uh, respected personalities and she was being stripped and her sari was being removed. Uh, so, uh, uh, and then the fight, Mahabharat, uh, just so many uh, people killed, almost everybody was killed except five Pandavas and a few others. So much suffering, so much pain, um, all the time. And at the end of all of that, here Mahajushtar is simply just walking away from everything. Kingdom, relatives, brothers, family, uh, posing himself as a madman. So he's showing us by his example that all this has to be left behind. So first of all, a life that is apparently not such a happy life. And if we are honest, we will see that we are always being attacked. We may not recognize it. But every one of us, the way one of these verses coming up, it is said that Durga Devi is in charge of this universe where we are living. And Krishna, he takes care of the Vaikuntha and Goloka realms. But in this material world, Durga Devi, Durga Devi has got how many arms and how many weapons? Ten weapons. And what is she doing with those weapons? She's sleeping? No. What? Some, uh, from, from ten directions we are being attacked. From inside, from outside, through our mind, our body, from neighbors, from friends, from relatives, from other countries, Adi Daivik, Adi Atmik, Adi Bautik. Hmm? All these attacks are going on. Within, within the body also, uh, especially as the aging process uh, catches up, then different, any, anybody here who's uh, nearing their, what they call the final chapters of life, you know, problems, whether it's blood pressure or diabetes or pain in the knees or cannot sleep properly or cannot see properly or cannot hear properly. Anybody has hearing aids? Anybody has hearing aids in this assembly? <laughs> So my mother, she's 93, hearing aid she, she needs all the time. Even with the hearing aid, she, she just says, I cannot hear now. 
So because she cannot hear, that means no point having a conversation. He says, what is the use of talking? Because if I talk, somebody replies, I cannot hear. And then she says, what is the use of, of uh, going anywhere because my knees always are hurting. She has to be in wheelchair all the time. And then she says, what is the use of, uh, whatever, whatever she talks about, there is some pain associated with, cannot sleep, cannot digest properly, cannot hear properly, knees are hurting all the time, blood pressure medicine has to be taken every day. My father passed away 15 years ago, so now she feels like no company. Most of her friends are gone. Right now we are thinking at this young age, 30s, that, oh, I have so many friends, I have a life ahead of me, this and that, but it will all be gone. Like in my mother's case, most of her friends are gone. So she feels very lonely, depressed, although she's chanting, she's hearing. Still the reality is that these Durga Devi's attacks are going on all the time. So this suffering will go on and we cannot change it. Just like change goes on, I was saying earlier on, suffering goes on, we cannot change it. Because somebody else is in charge of imposing that suffering upon us. So we can laugh, we can joke, we can think, I can somehow forget about this. But the attacks go on. Hmm? So, uh, therefore we get these literatures. India has this a special advantage. This kind of teachings are not available anywhere in the world. They may have some small idea of God or the laws of God. Hmm? But the complete description given in Bhagavad Gita and then Srimad Bhagavatam and other books that Srila Prabhupada has given us, this is an incredible amount of knowledge that can make our lives perfect. Hmm? Perfect means that these attacks coming from Durga Devi with the ten weapons, all these attacks, they stop. Hmm? They stop. We, we completely get pulled out of this prison life and get put into a special, you could say a special part of this material existence, hmm? which is arranged by Krishna for those who surrender unto him. special arrangement is made and this is the arrangement Srila Prabhupada has given us by forming this society and giving us practices that are very practical. We don't have to pick up torn clothes from the street. We are not being asked to pose ourselves as mad people. Hmm? Let our hair down, wear torn clothes, give up eating solid food. No, we don't have to do that. Because as things change, then the acharyas come and they then adjust things according to what is suitable for us in this situation. So Prabhupada has given us a very suitable, very perfect and very enjoyable, happy way to live our lives. Hmm? Prabhupada said, I have come, our business, Prabhupada's business is only one. And the business of his devotees is only one. What is that? to make other people happy. We have no other business. We make other people happy, that's what the Acharyas want. And that means we become happy ourselves. Any kind of difficulties we may have, they get minimized, almost reduced to nil, to zero. But we have to take to the process. It's a very scientific process. It works every time. And if it's not followed, then the result be that our, uh, our uh, unhappy situation will continue to exist. And that unhappiness will come from within the body, outside the body, from other people, from the environment, from the mind, from the intelligence, from society, uh, financial unhappiness 
social unhappiness, physical health unhappiness, um, career unhappiness, so many ways that unhappiness and suffering and pain will come into our lives. Durga Devi's ten weapons, but maybe those ten weapons she knows how to use in each weapon in ten different ways. Then ten times, ten times ten. So now there's hundred ways that we are being attacked. Ah. Ma, yes, you know the verses. Hmm? Very difficult to overcome. Very difficult to overcome. But very easy to overcome if you simply just take shelter of Krishna as Prabhupada is teaching us and following his instructions. So, how many of you want to wait till the end of Kali Yoga before you become serious about this? Till the time that age of 30 is considered old age. How many of you want to wait? How many of you think it's a good idea to take up this process seriously now? Very good. You're more intelligent than I am, you see. I'm in my mid-seventies now, but at at, at thirty you're saying I want to take this up seriously. So that's very good. <laughs> so yes, please do that. Just uh, Then... Uh, that is the same as the Panabas retiring timely. If you just pick up the process at whatever age you are at now, that is as good as your final journey after retirement. It's as good. You've achieved that perfection that the Pandavas are being given here. This just, that perfection is achieved by all of you if you just take up the process that Prabhupada has given seriously. So all of you will be considered as having retired from a miserable material life. And you'll be have a, having a perfect life, whether it's you're in your 30s or 20s or 40s or 50s. Your life will become perfect almost immediately, if not immediately. And you have no concerns about anything after that. No concerns. So, we take a little time for questions or any other discussion. Anybody wants to speak something, ask something? Any doubts? Yes. You you need microphone or how does it work? Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hmm. Prabhu, thank you for the wonderful class. Here you have clearly explained Bhagavad Gita 13.9 Janma Mrutyu Jara Vyadi Dukha Doshanu Darshanu yes. Then Tapatriya Adhyatmik Dukha Adipotik Dukha Adi Devik Dukha I think we can, t- there's some, should we turn those fans down a little bit so people can hear or it's okay? We have about 10 more minutes, right? Okay. So Prabhu, birth and death happens once. But it between disease and old age, Prabhu, like now I'm in my mid-fifties, past twenty years I'm taking some medicine. But I'm fortunate I got Hare Krishna Mahamantra, but along with that how to deal with these miseries, Prabhu, in a practical way. Because ch- chanting has started, but still the miseries still, you know, yeah. some portion still attacks the ten, from the ten directions, Durga Devi still attacks. Yes. And then we should be happy and spread happiness, but it doesn't happen always. Sometimes unhappiness still comes in spite yes. of my not wanting it. Yeah, sometimes such that Pandavas we saw, the life so much apparent unhappiness, no? But Kunti Devi is saying that I would rather have some unhappiness as long as I can remember you. So if some unhappiness is there, then use it in the right way, which is to always remember Krishna and never forget him. So those minor things to be there because these are material bodies 
although it is explained in another verse that the Pandavas they went back to Goloka in their original body and Prabhupada is explaining in the purport that the Acharya if you follow him directly then in the same body without all the miseries you can go back to your home your, your real family to Vaikuntra Goloka <laughs> so you, you can even get the same body <laughs> if you want <laughs> But no pains, no misery. Vaikuntha means no anxiety. No anxiety, no pain, no distress of any kind. In the meantime, a little bit of toleration. But, you know, the, the, just like we, we just slow the fan. Once we take to Krishna consciousness, then the, so the switch is turned off. And the fan of karma quickly comes to a stop. So we want that, we want to, to turn off the switch so that our karma gets wiped out very quickly. Yes Prabhu. And mm. then we keep waiting Prabhu, when will that karma enter? <laughs> so that the ability to face the past karma, it is acting, 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 prarabdha. <laughs> it is, keeps on acting. Well, you know, once, once we take shelter of Prabhupada and become very serious and get the diksha from him, then uh, that, that switch gets turned off or the plug gets full and the, so the fan stops quickly but then Krishna, he's got the right, he's very loving he will, even there's no karma but he may put us in different situations just to increase our devotion to him yes. that's like the Kunti is doing, no? she's saying give me more trouble because that increases my devotion for you so that's not karma, that's all part of Krishna's playing with us but Prabhu, what happens? Ishwara Parama Krishna, he is the supreme controller. But yeah. I want to be controller of my body so that I can get up early in the morning, I can do yeah. my sadhana. <laughs> but that doesn't happen. Disease overpowers. Then in that situation I am not even able to control myself. So how does how do we well, um, you know each one has Krishna has no he does not make any mistakes. Hmm? So for each one of us, whatever plan he has is perfect. So I cannot understand the plan he has for you completely, but he understands. And you cannot understand the plan Krishna has for somebody else here, but Krishna understands. Because the, the, the compassion he has, just like a father may have ten, ten children, he's got ten different plans for ten different children, but he loves them all. Hmm? He cares for them all. But each one of them, there is a different plan. Hmm? Right? So, Krishna has got a different plan for each one of us. And it's perfect. Yes, we, may not, we may not understand that. Yes, so, in the meantime, continue with the practices, continue with the process Prabhupada has given us. And there may be some apparent difficulties, but, you know, a, a, a pure devotee gets to the point or experiences as Prabhupada himself, we've seen his, in his own pastimes, that uh, th these miseries, externally they seem to be there, but actually for the devotee they don't exist. Yes. Yes, Prabhupada. They don't exist. Because sing, dance and pray. Because of Covid we could not come here and sing and dance. <laughs> Praying was happening at home, but <laughs> sing and dance, you know, Prabhu, it makes a difference when we are all together and yes. singing and dancing. We are very fortunate that you have so many associates who want to be on the same path. Uh, yes, Prabhu. See, most parts of the world, they are going completely in the wrong direction and all these support systems, the government, the schools, the politicians, the parents, families, everybody is saying, yes, yes, keep going in the wrong direction. Hmm? So they are headed to a, even a worse future, unfortunate. But here you have so many nice people encouraging you. So many nice people keeping you, uh, yes, you know, Prabhu. so. Yes, Prabhu, that is true. Yeah. And uh, happiness also comes, some things which we don't get according to karma, we get by blessings of Prabhupada, Krishna you and get, Krishna. Yes. Happiness comes, Maha Mantra is, only thing Maha Mantra does is give you happiness. In the morning when you do japa, you see Prabhupada's quotations are coming up. Yes, Prabhu. <coughs> so Maha Mantra is meant to give you only one thing, happiness and freedom from misery. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you. Anybody else? Hare Krishna Prabhu, hmm. 
I, I have into that uh, confusion of duality when I take uh, a spiritual devotional life completely my material world will suffer my responsibility will suffer when I switch it to my material responsibility my devotion will suffer so how I could balance this I am unable to do if you do everything for Krishna then it's not material responsibility anymore so you just whole life should be in such a way that your Prabhupada explains in Bhagavad Gita many places whole life should be molded in such a way that not only you are chanting Hare Krishna in your prescribed way or all, the, all day you are reading you are living the proper lifestyle no uh, vices freedom from vice but even the work that you do it's not material because you are doing it for Krishna so you consult with other devotees and specifics discuss like that but my the life should be uh, conducted in such a way that it becomes everything is being done for Krishna's pleasure then it's not material anymore and that's what Prabhupada has given us for each one of us uh, uh, the solution is there nobody's left out old people young people women men married people one child five children you know business person teacher professional retired people nobody is left out there is a plan for everybody Hare Krishna Prabhu Prabhu even after understanding uh, from Shastra and uh, from Srila Prabhupada instructions why are we more attached to material life and how to overcome okay I'm sorry I couldn't because it was a little muffled I couldn't hear Pro, even after understanding instructions from Shastra and from Srila Prabhupada why are we more attached to material life and how to overcome ah, why are we more attached to material life you know it's it's habit, no? Habit for not only in the, this life, not only last 10 years, 20 years, but previous lifetimes. And I spoke about this in uh, the class this we had two, two days ago. That <coughs> uh, some habits are 10 years old, some habits are 5 years old. Some diseases are only like a flu. One week it comes and goes. Some diseases, COVID, they last for one month, two months, three months. Some diseases, some injury may last for six months, a year, you know. Some people have disease. But this disease of uh, having the wrong idea of who we are, this has gone on for millions of lives. So what you're talking about, material attachments, thinking, oh, this is, uh, this is my... Uh, uh, that's a previous life we have lives this there in Shastra as a as a pig Indra is there and uh, they're coming oh Indra you king of heaven why are you here as a pig and Indra is saying no 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 I'm very attached I like this pig life I have my partner I have my children I have my food I have my all the stool and everything that I like to it. No, no, no. Let me, I'm enjoying this. Hmm? So that is what you're saying, material attachment. Even the pig is thinking, I'm happy. So dog is thinking like that also. Hmm? The cat is thinking like that. The fish is thinking like that. The bird is thinking like that. Mosquito is thinking like that. The ant is thinking like that. The frog is thinking like that. Hmm? Some poor man is thinking like that. Some Old, everybody is thinking, yeah, yes, uh, you know, even a person in the hospital, uh, to totally sick, body suffering like anything, and they ask him, sir, how are you? We can, oh, I'm, I'm doing fine. So that is attachment. We're not doing fine, but we think we're doing fine. So... Uh, so, you know, Krishna is very clever, you know, if we want to forget him, then he creates all these 
arrangements and illusions where we don't get clear intelligence to understand what is going on and how to act. So basically we've had these bad habits or misunderstandings. Sometimes misunderstanding is, is, uh, can be a good word because we've had these misunderstandings for millions of years. So if the misunderstanding takes a little while to get removed, we should not be surprised. But this process is so fast and so powerful and so easy that these misunderstandings or mistakes can be removed very quickly. Hare Krishna Prabhu. In Krishna Ashtotara, Krishna name is Samsara Vairiniye Namaha. So what is that meaning Samsara Vairiniye Namaha? Anybody can, I, I was not able to understand the question again because it's a little, uh, these fans are still making. In Krishna, Maybe you can, you can come here. And, and if I don't have the answer, then somebody else have to help me. This I don't know, the answer. Maybe if anybody else, Vasudev Prabhu, you have the answer to this question. <laughs> or anybody, any of the other devotees. Samsara Vairiye Namaha. This basically means, it's a Sanskrit term which means that Krishna will help you cross over the samsara. Samsara means this material world of birth, death, old age, disease. It's an ocean of suffering, an ocean of trouble. So we have to cross over this ocean. So it is Krishna with whose blessings and with whose mercy you can cross over this material ocean of birth, death, old age. Disease. Where is that from? It's the in Krishna Ashtottara. There are 108 names of Lord okay. Krishna okay. that we chant. Okay, but that's so one of those names is, it's only Krishna who has this name because it's only him who can give you freedom from yeah. the samsara. And uh, will that apply here that instead of crossing over something is like an ocean, he makes it just a small yeah, footprint exactly. of a cow, so you can easily cross over it. Hmm? So just imagine the whole ocean becomes reduced to just a little footprint. Prabhu, I have one question. Hmm. You mentioned in your talk that this process of Krishna consciousness that Prabhupada gave us is very suitable, very perfect, it's enjoyable, it is happy way, it is fast, it is powerful and it is easy. These are the words you used. Okay. So, these are very nice. It's very nice to know that, you know, this is such a wonderful process and such an easy process and enjoyable, happy, suitable. Mm -hmm. So, but then if it is so easy and so effective, why is it taking so much time? Because a process which is suitable, perfect, powerful, fast at the same time, easy, it shouldn't take so much time for us. So, why is it taking so much time? So much time to, to uh, experience what? Because it depends upon what, what is the outcome that you are referring to. If the outcome is, is a very fast change in, in life, just like here today we read, Maharaj Yudhishthir, he leaves, leaves everything behind, right? So if we can leave our old bad lifestyle behind within a matter of six months, that is a huge change. So, that, that, so j just that big change from leaving all our old uh, self-destructive habits behind, if that can be done in six months, that itself is almost like it is described in one of the verses, Jivan Mukta is living a liberated life. So within that liberated life, yes, we have so many different types of stages of development and experience, but the shift from a imprisoned life to a free life, that has already taken place. With six months that can be done. One year it can be done at the most. 
So if in six months you can leave the prison and become free from the prison, once you're out of the prison, it's a whole new life. So how many of you would like to leave the prison within six months to a year and be free? So. I don't know if that helped, but the main thing is to get out of the prison and live our free life. Within the free life, we can have different types of experience and arrangements. But get out of the prison, get out of this lifestyle that is keeping us bound up. You can do it anyway. You can, you can, once you learn the process, you can follow it whether you live in the bus or a car or a small apartment or the temple ashram or your home or apartment or uh, on the street <laughs> under a tree or in a bus or in a ship or in a plane process can be followed anywhere and any by any person that's what I said any person any age any situation anywhere just learn the process Pastimes, Prabhupada's pastimes are going on all the time. <laughs> I, I, I shared with you the best I could today. So, just, just hear from Prabhupada, always hear from him. It's the best way to understand Prabhupada's pastimes is to hear from him. Hear his voice, read his books, follow his instructions. The samadhi other bring Prabhupada into your life. All the pastimes will become revealed. Okay, thank you very much. All the best to you. Shri Prabhupada ki chai.